With school back in session and uh, kids going to school and coming home with every germ imaginable, it is that time of year when the doctor's appointments and visits pick up. And with working parents, who has time to actually take your kids to the doctor anymore, let alone go yourself? It's estimated about a million people had virtual doctor's appointments next year. That's only expected to grow. Dr. James is the CEO of Diamond Physicians in Dallas, Texas, joining us now to talk about this new phenomenon. It's new to me. I actually started using an uh, online doctor this year, and I'm thrilled with it. Yeah, absolutely. Telemedicine is a great platform. Um, we've been practicing telemedicine uh, here in Dallas for the last four years uh, with concierge medicine, so it's been an integral part of our program. And I'd say about 75 to 80 percent of my patient interactions are via some sort of technology, whether it be email, text, video conference. So telemedicine is a huge part of my practice. But it seems like the 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 potential trouble spot that's not too hard to, to find is the fact that if you're not in the same room with your patient, there's a good chance you could miss something that if you, if you were actually there to, to lay hands on that patient, you'd be able to find. Believe it or not, I'd say 85 to 90 percent of problems can be handled via telemedicine because medicine is all algorithms, or at least in primary care it is. Now, certain things absolutely, like uh, abdominal pain. I need to lay my hands on the patients to make an accurate diagnosis. But the vast majority of ailments uh, can be handled via telemedicine. So let's say I had a mom with a four-year-old who knew that the four-year-old had strep throat. Uh, I asked her a series of questions, so evidence-based, called the center score. She answered them, sent me a picture of the throat. I saw that there were white spots or exudates in the medical field. Uh, Patient had a fever, uh, tender lymph nodes, and I could make that diagnosis without ever actually touching the patient because I could see uh, and I could get the questions answered in a timely fashion. So telemedicine is a beautiful, beautiful platform that really eliminates a lot of barriers to care. So tell us what kinds of uh, what, what kinds of illnesses benefit from using telemedicine and when you really should go face to face with your doctor. A, a lot of the sniffles and, and, and sneezing and, and flu season is coming up right now, so I get a lot of allergies and, and cold, adenovirus. Well, those things are easy to diagnose over the phone with a simple set of questions. Now, if you are having high, high fever, you know, fatigue, uh, not feeling well, then you need to go in and, and get a flu test or something like that. So there are times when you need to go in to see the doctor and, and have a diagnosis or, or some type of in, in-house point of care test to confirm the diagnosis, but most times, like I said, 85 to 90%, we can diagnose over the phone. The problem with traditional insurance model is that doctors don't get compensated for telemedicine, and that's the big issue right now, which is why I created Diamond Physicians so that doctors could connect directly to patients, and we are playing to scale across the country, uh, and patients pay a monthly membership fee that includes unlimited visits, no copay, and, and telemedicine. And the fact that you don't have to go sit in a germy waiting room. (laughs) <laughs> exactly. No wait. Uh, we also include unlimited urgent care, and I believe that's the future of healthcare. So we want to connect individuals to doctors, and we're also building a platform to connect employers to direct pay physicians, and, and that's going to be launching nationwide here in the next few weeks. So, Dr. James, all you need basically for any of these these services now is an internet connection with, a, I guess, a camera, and you can FaceTime, Skype, whatever with the doctor. That's exactly right. Excellent. And it increases employee productivity, decreases uh, time away from office, and it's a win-win for everybody. Everybody wants to be efficient and get the care that they need and deserve in a timely fashion. Dr. James Pinckney from Diamond Physicians in Dallas, thanks so much. Oh, thank you, guys.